yeah, we should be fine doing that. Unless they have an artifact in their hand, they immediately lay it. They ping us, and they get one more damage through. A shock, any of these creatures. They are going to block Feldon. That's pretty good. Okay, down to seven. Feeling like a hot butt. Give me light of the night, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> I didn't even get a swing, dude. I'm stalling. What up, YouTube? Hey, happy Merry Christmas. Um, it's your boy, Zach, and I'm back with another one here. Hitting you on Christmas Eve with a uh, mono red list. Yeah, I'm feeling frisky today. Um, you know, it's Christmas Eve. Had to throw something together a little bit quicker than usual. So I get back to the family. Um, however, pretty good stuff here today. I actually really like it. Uh, pretty good performance so far. Um, the deck or the games today should be a lot of fun for you, so stick around for those. And yeah, what we have here is a pretty balanced list. Urobrask is fun. I like this card. Um, now it's pretty hard, the last part, right? So every time we cast an instant or sorcery, we're picking them. This is awesome. This is great. You add the red mana. That's cool. Well, we'll look at that. His ability is only one red mana. But you do have to activate it by casting three or more instants that turn. So, of course, the mana helps you do that. We don't have a tremendous amount of uh, smaller spells. And we do have some creatures in here. You know, more creatures than maybe a spell list would usually kind of constitute. Or maybe you would try. But actually, this is surprisingly good. And I really like the creatures that we have. Um, this is going to ramp you, right? We And we can cast it twice with Blitz. This is good for when we flood out and stuff. Um, this is also a great way of digging deeper and helping us ramp and cast our spells. Um, and it's just a creature that they pretty much have to deal with. That's the thing about creatures is, you know, they pretty much have to spend some, you know, some mana, some turn, some amount of uh, resource to get rid of it. So, of course, for Play With Fires, this is going to be a great way of triggering our Urbrask. Um, and of course, in our 4-drop slot, well, should probably go over here. We do, I uh, spent my second Mythic on this boy for you today. Um, really cool stuff. It's going to double your damage. This is really good with all of our things that we're doing. Um, so yeah, and basically we just want to light, play, play with Fire him to the face, you know, do extra damage. It does not double this guy's 4 and turn it into 8. It kind of overrides it. It's a little bit of an interesting interaction. In fact, I made a mistake in one of my previous videos, like 10 videos ago. Um, I wasn't too sure. I even admitted, I was like, I'm not too sure what happened during that interaction. But that is how it works. One big score in here to help us ramp into a, maybe our Atali in the late game. We don't really want to go so deep, right? We want to win before we cast an Atali usually. But in our 5-drop slot, this is a great card, right? Of course, burn down the house, baby. So if we're winning, if we're doing good, the double tokens are quite annoying because that's three triggers that could hit them for double damage or four damage each, right? Um, we have Flick a Coin. So if we do lay our O'Hare, and we could go two O'Hares, guys. Like, don't be afraid to go two O'Hares. Um, this is what I ended up on. I wanted to do more of the Urabrask thing. Um, I do... I like the first strike. The first strike's pretty underrated on it. Does stop a lot of, uh, you know, mid-range decks from swinging in, which is quite good. Um, and we usually don't want to swing with this creature. Just use them up as a blocker and have some sort of board presence as we continue to take advantage of his ability, obviously. Um, and basically, you know, what we're doing, we're, we have two Nahiri's Warcraft in here. We're we're removing things this is five damage is pretty good but you know when there's those smaller press pesky chunk blockers we do have a way of digging deeper into our deck um and casting them or finding them and you know this helps to enable possibly the three instants and sorceries per turn thing so pretty cool stuff um i have a bone horden here you know that's obviously a great card um and yeah everything's really good you know this is three board wipes essentially early in the game and what's cool is like say they spend their resources in turn so getting rid of our our requisitioner which we want to die and our felled on which is doomed to die regardless um well now uh you know we can wait we can build up our resources we can coast the late game they overcommit, we blow them up right which you know and even if we have our urbask on the field it has four toughness so that's pretty great right it's not gonna die um mechanized warfare in here the only non-instant or sorcery slash creature that i have in here but it's just so good that i had to fit one in here it basically does one extra damage for all of our things so um, there is a Goro Goro, very cool stuff. The Haste, notably, is really good. It also has a Mana Sync with the 5-5 five, five Flyer, so I like it quite a bit. Um, and Volcanic Spite, one of my new favorite cards. I'm pretty sure this is a great card, yo. This is, I think I said in my last video, like, is this one of the most overlooked commons right now? I think it is, because it's like removal and hand filter. And usually you have to, on a red card, usually you have to choose between the both, like Carthartic Prior... Uh, what, what's that card? Let's just show you it really fast. I really like this one, but, um, Kath? Oh, I have land. So, this one here, right, you have to choose. This is really good, though, because you can get an extra card. 
um, or dig deeper and get rid of stuff. But, you know, we don't really have graveyard recursion. I just uh, had a really good Rakdos de deck. I hope you check that out. Um, but this is what I want to do. I just want to do some mono red, some easy piloting, you know, some easy wins. Um, the deck's good, and uh, I hugely appreciate it if you have made it this far and listened to the intro. I always love when people do that. Um, so you're a rock star. Um, been having a lot of fun. Thank you so much for the support. It's been unbelievable. Um, you know, I went from like 50 subscribers to like 110 or something and past that now. So you guys rock. Um, getting back to the swing of things here. Just hit Mythic, by the way, so that's fun. We're going to uh, take a look at the games now. And I hope this deck works for you. Let me know, by the way, in the comments. People have been giving me some really good recommendations. I've been loving that. The back and forth between the community has been so cool. You guys have some great ideas. Um, there, there's just so many people I can shout out right now. But let's get into the games. Um, Strangle is in here, by the way, as just another little cheap bing bong. I don't think I went over this card. And this is obviously just a great mana sink. Sorry, I just realized I don't think I went over the one drops. Um, and then a Phoenix Chick is a resilient creature. Another creature. Another thing we can bring back and start being annoying. It is an evasive flying creature, so it's not too bad. You could put another instant in here if you really want to go for the instant thing. But I think it's a pretty well-rounded mono, you know, mid-range red deck, I guess. Um, I don't know. So, much love. Let's do it. What's up? All right, I hope this, sh this deck does good, man. Let's see, let's see. Uh, pretty decent hand, yo. Let's go. Um, here we are, up at 90% mythic. Feeling like a frisky boy. I've been sticking at that 91, 90 range, man. I've been kind of hard stuck. Oh, I want to get a ranking so bad. Here we go with the blood tide. Oof. Okay. Um, this is till end of turn. Next turn. Let's do this. The haste is the haste is pretty good. Getting some early damage. And if they trade, so happy with that. Okay. Now, this is interesting because we can blitz it in. It's actually not too bad, right? Like, it really isn't. Um, they probably have removal, though, regardless. Well, you know, we don't really have a better turn three. So. Ooh, the ob. The Blood Tide ob. The classic. Absolute classic. <laughs> I'm not oh, dude, this is going to be a tough Go game, dude. Chaos. Bruh. All right. Well, Atali seems kind of far away, so. <laughs> huh. Ha ha ha. Blitzseed's not too bad. We could kill one of the obs, then they minus two next turn. We get the. Blitzseed's not too bad. Do we have to do this here? Yeah, I think so. Seems kind of weird. Um, let's go here and here, right? That's pretty tough for them. I could have double swung at that, right? But I think taking one out here is much better. Um, and actually, they can't even minus two, I just realized. So that's even better. Two Urabrask, feeling good about that. Because they might remove one, right? They got black, so. Feeling really good, actually. Discard a card, eh? Don't want to get rid of the mana. I guess it's <laughs> I guess it's one of the Urabrask. That's fine. <laughs> the Volcanic Spite's hit really good here to just guarantee we take out this AWP. Because we can't hit planes. Then if we get a, if we get a terrible draw next turn too, we can get rid of that terrible card, right? I, I don't know, dude. Am I a volcanic? Am I in love? Am I in love, baby? <laughs> baby, am I in love with you? <laughs> uh, I had all the time to not continue singing, and I still sing. Ooh, so that's gonna be pretty good. Um. <laughs> Let's lay, actually, let's not lay the mountain in case we get a mountain boy, or in case we want to hit, um, what's it called, uh, <laughs> oh, land. <laughs> wow, they don't block dummies, man, dummies, bro. <laughs> Ooh, that's tough for them, I feel kind of bad, and we do damage to our boy, Ooh. Yeah, like even better bro okay should we get another Felden that's kind of good the light up the night to the face nah yeah Felden oh wait I can cast this absolutely I could have held this up but eh. if we don't get the mana up we'll just slap Urbrask feeling pretty good alright feeling like a hot butt oh hair dude Bruh. Ouch, dude. Alright, so this guy thinks he's a hot boy. Um, 
Damn, if I got the mana, you know what I'm saying? Actually, would have made a huge difference here. We definitely swing. This can't block, by the way, so there's no point of um, pretty much not swinging. Now, we could get rid of the artifacts so that they don't have another thing to ping us with. Definitely worth it here. Let's do our... I know it's awkward. I don't want to actually use the shock because I want to get rid of it here. Let's get that mana, baby. Okay. We really need the mana. I'm a little worried about this. This is going to... Mm. Okay, four damage. Okay, let's go to six. Six is fine. Six is okay. Dude, though. But they can't swing now with Ura. I should have. I think I messed up. I kind of goofed. But we keep swinging, man. We're... <laughs> this guy, bro. He keeps. I don't want to use the joke about Fell Dawn again, but. <laughs> I almost did. I love him so much. Look at this guy. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Suave, dude. Look at that scarf, bro. This guy's freaking balling. Alright. Um, wow, that's pretty good. This, I mean, this is pretty good, though. Give it haste? Nah, that's so dumb. Let's do this. The only... Yeah, well. Erebrass not looking so hot so far, but, you know, we got another game here for you after this. Um, yeah. Keep on swinging. So we are going to be doing three damage now. Boom. And two damage every time we Urabras ping, right? So. Feeling like a hot boy. Oh my. So Ken's in these, these acorns. Bro, that's a crazy swing, bro. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. So actually... Hmm. This is not an artifact. Okay. <sighs> the burn down the house, baby. The burn down the house is crazy with this. Ooh, do I? Hmm, man. Nah, yeah, we go aggressive, right? Am I going to make a huge mistake? Probably. All right, ping him for two. Yeah, we absolutely go aggressive here. Okay, we don't. Whoa, I'm lagging. Whoa, major lag. Okay, we don't make the mistake of going all out, right? We keep one blocker here. Yeah, we should be fine doing that. Unless they have an artifact in their hand, they immediately lay it. They ping us, and they get one more damage through. A shock, any of these creatures. They are going to block Feldon. That's pretty good. Okay, down to seven. Feeling like a hot butt. Give me light of the night, dude. Or did I shuffle, shuffle that or put that at the bottom? Ooh, okay. Dude. Um, man. All right, so flick the coin. Yep, flicking. We flicking, dude. We flicking the win. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna draw that card, make that treasure, get another card. We're gonna draw a card as well. We should be able to do it with Mechanitis. Warfare. Oh, no, dude. Oh, bro. That is, that is so scary, bro. Bro, no, not another card. Oh, he's looking. He's looking for another card. He can't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it to me. No. No, on Christmas Eve. I can't. You can't do it. Oh. Yup. Calculated. We're gamers out here. Go ahead and swing. Hot boy. Ooh, it's a mana. Okay. His last card ain't gonna do it. What's he got? Ooh, golly. You cheapers, dude. So... Dude, we could almost... Can we double cast? Because we lay the mana. We have six mana. We get a treasure. We cast that for three. That's four. No. I think we're one short. So we just do this, right? We just... Yeah. Ooh. Wait. What? Why was that cheap? I'm dumb, dude. Oh, yeah. The mana I had floating. <laughs> I didn't even get a swing, dude. I'm stalling. Uh, I, hey, great first game. I think we got to see the power there. Um, very calculate. You know, we, we drew it close, leaving up the blockers the way we did at the end. You know, if I had swung with the third de uh, demon, we would have been dead there. And, um, yeah, stuff like that. I think we played it pretty good. Let's get one more for you. Hey. What's up? Game two, we just drew the mountain here. I actually kind of forgot I was recording. Um, let's not. Let's not. 
Let's wait. Well, do they lay here? Yeah, perfect. And they lay the third. I actually got three recruiting officers one time in my hand. Felt like a, you know, I felt like a baller, dude. What did I say? Um, let's just say this, right? I think Requisitioner is one of the better... Yeah, this is a really good card. I mean, like, you don't want too many creatures in your spells deck. Um, but... It's a good one. What's this, man? Entrance Valve, we return to one. Why? Oh, because you get a counter. Oh, and they got the mana. Okay. And you're not going to swing. Okay. Respect, respect. Um... Kind of want to save this. But nah, right? We swing first. Okay, perfect. They got scared. Um, let's wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll get rid of one of these mounts. See, that's what's cool. You know, you don't have to worry about the meta too much with your. If you get at least like one volcanic sprite in the game, spite. Let's kill this. Okay. We like that. Big fan, big fan. Especially against soldier guys. So we don't want the soldiers to get. <laughs> Bigger than five though. That's kind of scary, scary. Let's play this. Nah, because then the, it dies to burn down the house. Um, you know it'd be sick. Nah, let's do this. It's it's the best play. And then we get the shock. Just kidding. All right, I got rid of the other requisitioner for no reason. Cause we don't want another one. Get rid of that. Send it to the shadow realm. <laughs> Bro, Yu-Gi-Oh was like off on another dude. Yu-Gi-Oh honestly doesn't get enough credit for being so like bodacious with their story, dude. Like <laughs> these people were playing for life and death, and the loser gets banished to the shadow realm, dude. That's intense. <laughs> so do we swing? Are we a big swinger? Yeah, we do, right? Dude, I could so Kenzin here, big stall it up. Ooh, we kind of like that. Yeah. Seems dumb. But, uh, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. Perfect. Okay, I made a mistake because now I take advantage of that ability. Oh, I did not want that to happen. However! I feel like a hot boy for that. Because now we still have our, uh, burn. Burn and brask. Okay, so now we just like brask. Because, yeah. I mean, say they have some removal here. Probably un very unlikely. If we get a big 4-4 four -four on the field, we're feeling like a hot boy. Dude, I kind of want to... Ooh, yeah. I was going to say. Yeah. All right, ping him. Get him down. Big fire it off, dude. We're racing. We're racing. Golden Robbie, I'm sorry, you seem like a great person and all, but like, you get banished, dude. <laughs> Shadow Realm awaits. I'm just kidding. <laughs> banished, dude. That's such an in that's such intense verbiage. <laughs> banished, dude. <laughs> Banishing just seems like a ridiculous thing in like any context. <laughs> Yo, what's up? I'm gonna hit him with a nice. No, um, you know, not the best ending there, but uh, hey, you know, we got him. We got him. You know, you got another burn down your house in your hand. Um, uh, you know, you want him to overcommit. Usually, we have decent density in board wipes, being we have three Brotherhood ends, I believe, right, and then three burn down the houses. So it's six cards that should, you know, get you a lot of momentum in the game. And then we have Urabrask pinging. And it's a good creature with first strike, right? Um, and the early game, I think we have some really nice, you know, the card selections we did were pretty fun. Um, a little bit of an interesting, weird deck. I'm sure there's probably better ways. I'm sure you could analyze this deck and realize there's probably some faults. Um, cause mono red is not something I'm so familiar with for sure. This is pretty much my first mono red list this season. So, Hey, a lot of fun. Um, Merry Christmas guys. Have a good one. I hope you get your pony and, uh, Hey, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more Lost Caverns of Excellent content. And, uh, yeah, peace guys. See you next time.